G'day guys, that's Sharky Shorten here, back for the 150th episode. The cards are all over the table. Are you excited, Blake? Very excited. This is huge. 150 episodes on the show. What's been your favourite episode, just to start all this off? Thinking real hard. Holy shit, the charisma first is one. already here. First episode, because it started this amazing journey. Cool. What's everyone else's favourite episodes been? Mine was probably um, uh, the one, probably the one where we went on boys night and we went snorkeling for those clams. That was good fun. Anyway, without further ado, guys, we said we we're going to do a and a The problem is you guys suck. You guys really suck. We got like three questions. Um, Baby, so, no, don't get making fun of Thank you for the very... Valued fans. <laughs> thank you for the few people that did leave us a question. We will answer those. Well, we've had to do to substitute the lack of enthusiasm from our avid watchers is we've had to Google a bunch of AMA questions. We've thrown them in there, so we've got a bunch of questions we're going to answer. We, I do remember roughly which ones were actually asked by a person and which ones were... they're good questions. They're good questions, yes. The ones from the AMA may not be the best. Anyway, without further ado, let's get right into this. So I'll draw a question, you draw a question. We'll both answer it. Stay tuned, guys. This should be a bunch of fun. First question here... Oh, this must have been one of the ones the people asked. There's nothing on it. Nothing on it. Your turn, Blake. <laughs> You're a dumbass. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> Alright, our first question. What do we got here? If you had to change your name, what would your new name be and why would you choose that name? Billy Big Dick, because it suits me. <laughs> what about you? Glass of Blake. <laughs> Blake Boa Constrict. Blake Boa Constrict. <laughs> Alright, cool. Cool, cool answer. Second question. What was ruined because it became so popular, this show? <laughs> this show was good when it was uh, on the ground. Uh, uh, <laughs> call is popular. Well, Brooklyn 99. That show was alright. First few seasons. Everything after that is basically unwatchable because of the fanatics surrounding it. Rick and Morty also. Pretty much any popular show. You could just say any any show that got marginally popular. I don't agree. I think that Simpsons is very popular, but that show's still pretty alright. A lot of people would not like that answer. But anyway, next question. Your, your draw. Your draw. What's the smartest thing you've ever seen an animal do? <laughs> Pull that out of a hat and read it. <laughs> <laughs> this guy drinking coffee. Um... The- <laughs> It's the smartest thing I've ever seen an animal do. Um, one of my snakes has a pretty good understanding of telling me what she wants, like when she wants uh, the heater on or when she wants to come out for a play or when she wants to f- be fed or when she wants to not be disturbed. Um, and she's got a pretty good understanding of letting me know. She would like be in different places in the enclosure to kind of let me know this is what I want at this moment. So that's pretty intelligent, I would say. What about you? Don't really watch animals. So, I don't know. Cool, good answer, Blake. You're really turning on <laughs> the fucking... It's a shit, it's a shit question, all right? <laughs> okay, here's the next one. It's very folded up. It's barely even... Out of, who is, this, the, is this how you're padding out who the Who did this? <laughs> yeah. What is the dumbest way you've been injured? Falling off a bike. The first time I tried to ride one. Well, yeah. not even the first time, like the third time. Right, <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty dumb. And Although never, and I feel like bike again, most people could probably relate to that. But my, my point is, is that it was a dumb way to fall off. How'd you fall off? It was a broken bike. Oh. It didn't work in the first place. I still tried to ride it. Fair enough. Uh, I, I picked up a venomous snake, so that's probably that's probably mine. Uh, other than that, um, I think the venomous snake one's pretty good. I can't think of too many other dumb ways I've been injured. One time I did try to smash a beer bottle over my head. That was not too cash money. Alright, moving I didn't on to the next question well. before you start making sense. Right. Like more of idiot. Too easy. Blake, what did you do at lunch every Tuesday back in high school? That's a great question. That is an audience-derived question. I can't remember who asked that, but someone did ask, Blake, what did you do every Tuesday at lunch back in high school? Well, what was you that, asked Blake? that. I don't believe that's the case. <laughs> I think if you look back, you'll see that that's not true. <laughs> what did I do at lunch every Tuesday? Probably ate lunch. Anything else? No. No, that's That's it. Good answer. Good answer, Blake. Very cool. All right, next question here. Uh, 
How much do you think names affect the outcomes of people's lives? <laughs> what a stupid fucking question. Why did you do that one then? That's I like know, three, I just copied and pasted like a bunch of random That's like three name-based questions. <laughs> it is actually. Um, I think that's like Morton's labelling theory, isn't it? <laughs> I, I don't really think they do, but... I don't know, I've met a lot of Kyles that drink Monster Energy drinks. Um... I feel like if you name a girl Gertrude, she's probably not going to be really attractive. So I, I actually you're agree a, with you're that. You're a big man. I totally agree with that. What do you think? Uh, yeah, what, what he said. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think... I, didn't think, I don't feel like you're going to be think, the fan favourite after this. I think, <laughs> I think you behave according to your name. Yeah, so you do name. think that. Yeah, so not the name. So if your name's Killer, do you, you reckon you just go around and kill cards? I think you probably did something to get the name Killer. No, 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 but it's like your act... Alright, we're done with this. It's a shit question and we took too long on it anyway. Next question is... What's the most embarrassing story from your childhood? <laughs> For me? Oh, you can go... You can answer first. So like, I, was, I was pondering telling the axolotl story. <laughs> you have to tell it now, don't you? Alright, well, when I was a young man... Um, and this is something I've only recently come out and been open with. When I was a young man, I, I was somewhat of a scientist myself. Um... <laughs> And I, I had these axolotls, pet axolotls. If you don't know what they are, there's a picture of them there. Um, axolotls are... Uh, they used to kind of temperate waters, although they can survive in cooler waters. And I wanted to see whether my axolotls, in a scientific experiment, one for the ages, truly... Don't make it sound smarter than it ...could is. survive in boiling water. And the answer is they couldn't. Uh, so I boiled my pet axolotls... Alive. Um, alive. Well, they weren't alive for too long. <laughs> That's pretty embarrassing. <laughs> Yours? Uh, I used to like steal cake from the fridge and then blame <laughs> of it. Of course you did. I could have told you that. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know. <clears throat> That's pretty embarrassing. Is it? <laughs> you find it? Is it? Yeah. <laughs> I think you've got that in common with a few people. I don't feel like many it people doesn't matter if it's boiled their fucking axe. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a complete psychopath like you are. <laughs> All right, next question. Mm -hmm. What mm -hmm. always cheers you up when you think about it? Boiling those axolotls. <laughs> 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 Laughing at you when I hear about that story. Uh, probably my dog. Um, I genuinely. She's like, sleeping right now. What always cheers me up? Very little. You're yeah. a joyless husk <laughs> of a man. Husk of a person. Yeah. <laughs> there is nothing that brings cheer to my life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. Excellent. All right. Next one. If you could pick any animal to talk to, which would it be? Birds. Yeah. I think that'd be pretty sweet. Because I'd see a lot of birds, don't see a lot of anything else. I'd probably pick, um... I'd pick something badass I could make it attack shit for me. Probably venomous snakes, because then my job would be easy too. I just... Hey snake, I'm here to help you get in the bag. There you go. Willie though? Happy days. Well, it, I feel like if you can talk to him, and they're not really that sentient, but maybe, who knows. Alright. What are you guys' thoughts on communism? <laughs> now that is actually another fan curated question. I'm not sure who asked that yeah, one. I can't quite remember. I don't remember. <laughs> um, I like it. Big fan. Go red or be dead. <laughs> I no, I, I think it's uh, it works in uh, very uh, meagerly instituted ways. I feel like an entirely communist system does, doesn't work. But anyone who says they hate communism, there's hair in my coffee. That's yours. My hair, really? Yeah. yeah. I feel like everyone, every country on earth has s very small incremental communist measures, like public health care, um, the, the welfare that we have for people who are ill, stuff like that. So I feel like it's, it, a lot of the premises are good, but it's very crudely executed when tried, and I don't think it should it, be. It hasn't been well executed ever. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's crudely so I'm just agreeing well, with you. I'm agreeing with you. Venezuela, to a degree. They are communists. Before all that American intervention, Venezuela was still not great, but, I mean, it's Venezuela. What do you think? I agree with you. I mean, like, there's, not, there's not really a point of contention I can I have. thought you were mad communist. Oh, I thought yes. you were Marx or Dime yes. or fuck up. <laughs> what you can't actually see is the co a, t a tattooing of the first few paragraphs <laughs> of the communist manifesto <laughs> across my chest. And I won't reveal it. No, oh, yeah, your turn. Sorry. <laughs> You've drawn like four in a row, I'm pretty sure. Get it out of here. 
Uh, this is another fan curated question. Is Sonia the best at fishing or the best at banter? I can't remember who asked that. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, neither. Oh, banter, actually. That time she said that your disorder was obesity was pretty fucking brutal. <laughs> Um, I'm just gonna definitely say, I'm not gonna the go, best at fishing, though. I'm going to say the best at fishing just to be a... Contrarian? Yeah. Wow. How edgy. <laughs> For no <In> reason. <laughs> Alright, next question is... What? Where are you not welcome anymore? You're not, like, you're not welcome at my house. Blake's house. I was going to say Blake's <laughs> house. You can't go there no more. Um, I'm not really not welcome anywhere. Yeah, that is true. You're a giant fucking it. cock. I, don't, yeah. I can't never been told that I can't go somewhere. I've never been banned from a place, but I, I feel like I'm probably not welcome. Um, no, actually, I won't say that on camera. Next question. <laughs> that was a bit. That would have been a bit much. What is a body part that you wouldn't mind losing? About twenty kilos, right here. I would be all right with that. Uh, I feel like I'd be all right without a heart. I don't really use it too much. Just go with my head. <laughs> It'd be pretty sweet if I just be a head in a jar. No, actually, if it, you wouldn't mind losing, so do you still gain sentience? Because if that's the case, I'd lose everything but my head. <laughs> just, just like a, be a head. head. Yeah. <laughs> that would be sick. Just, just set a TV or just up. like a left just... pinky. T- <laughs> like that's it, and that's it. That's just all I have. Sentient pinky finger, just slowly drawing. Ah. <laughs> oh. Um, I, I, yeah, 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 in all yeah, yeah, honesty, yeah. probably just like my fucking my left leg. <laughs> I could do I without know, it. Just a finger. Just hop around. I can live without a finger. Nat Hoppy Shorten. <laughs> What's wrong with Sounds Right? Communism. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. Hanging out with you. What's wrong with Sounds Right? Does that sound right? It doesn't yeah. sound right to me. It sounds horrible to me. What's wrong but sounds right? Necrophilia. Because it is wrong, but it doesn't sound as abrasive as it should be. Like, fucking dead people, you, sh- you would think that it would be, like, a horrible thing that sounds gross to say, but necrophilia rolls off the tongue. I'm concerned that you know you've said it enough times to be, a sh- to be certain that it rolls off the tongue. It certainly does. <laughs> I say it a lot. Like, what are you doing here? What are you convicted of? <laughs> What's your favourite kind of porn to watch? I say it quite a lot. Anyway, next question... <laughs> <clears throat> okay, uh, what game have you spent the most hours playing? Game of life, baby. 20 years and counting. Just Game of Thrones content. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, on that, I'm con- on that daily grind, baby. I've 400 hours of, de- of Game of Thrones max mobile level, conquest. Max level, top 10 leaderboard, best player in Australia. For mine, it would probably be big bass fishing. Like genuinely, because I don't, I don't know if anyone knows, but I do not play video games or mobile games or anything. So it would be big bass fishing. You don't on play Game of Thrones Conquest. I don't play Game of Thrones Conquest. You're missing out. <laughs> You'll draw a big boy. What was cool when you were young, but isn't cool now? You got, you got someone calling. No, it's an alarm. Oh, an alarm for what? What was cool when you were young, but isn't cool now? Big bass fishing. Uh, Minecraft. <laughs> Minecraft, yeah. yeah. It used to be super cool. Like, you used to be the coolest kid in the playground if you played Minecraft. Really? Yeah, but now, now no. you're not. Uh, hey, hey, what hey. was cool? Can't but cool, it's not no cool. Uh, probably, like, sleeping over at your friend's house. It's not really cool anymore. Like, I remember when I was young and I just slept over at a friend's house. I was like, yeah, this is going to be fucking sick. Like, we'll stay up all night. Now it's just like, yeah, you can stay the night if you want, I guess. Yeah, that is totally a sledge on you for staying at my house tonight, by the okay. way. Okay. Anyway. Sorry. Next question. Just leave me outside. <laughs> Sleep in the gun. You're saying it as if that wasn't already the plan. <clears throat> if you could know the absolute and total truth to one question, what would you ask? What, what question would you ask? What are the exact details of when I'll die? Really? You'd want to know that? Mm-hmm. That's fucked. I wouldn't want to know that. So the time, the place, how... When? Wow, yeah. no, nah, I wouldn't want to know that. I like the mystery. Where? All that stuff. I would ask probably if there is a god, just because it would be cool to know. So, so who are you asking exactly? Well, that's a good question. Yeah. Am I asking God or uh, so that's is it like, like a super? That really computer? makes you really makes you think. <laughs> like a super. <laughs> really computer. makes you think. I'd probably ask like, you know, how many episodes of this show are going to get filmed, and is it ever going to go anywhere, or am I just wasting my fucking time here? That's what I'm getting into that one for you. <laughs> <laughs> What's the All right, next question? <laughs> uh, what are you currently worried about? 
The duration. Stay there at your house. The long. <laughs> I'm the long, really worried about the that. longevity of this show <laughs> and the fact that this guy's running it into the ground. Um, Excuse me, I'm raising it up. I'm, the ground. Genuinely, what I'm really worried about um, this Saturday, Australia versus Afghanistan. This will come out long after that, but I'm quite worried. Uh, I'm worried about this whole World Cup campaign, to be honest. But I'm hoping that Australia do well. That's actually my biggest concern right now: is Australia not not retaining the World Cup. Yeah, I have that same worry as well. It yeah. keeps you up at night. I'm also kind of worried about um, aliens, just in general. It's a general I'm worried fear. about Godzilla attacking. And I was going to ask what your it. biggest fear is, but I'm pretty sure that's another that question. Another question. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. We're getting there. We're getting through them. Notice how very few of these are actually fan curated. This one's upside down. Who would you go out of your way? To, who do you go out of your way to be nice to? The answer for that is obviously Blake. Out of my way to be nice to <clears throat> the teachers in high school, you fucking pet. Uh, probably my manager at, at my day job. Go Actually, ahead. no, that's not true. I don't go out of my way to be nice to her. Um, I mean, uh, probably I don't my think, mom. I don't think I go out of my way to be nice to anyone. I'm just. I'm trying. I try to be nice. To I, I don't like conflict. That but sounds arrogant, but. Well, it is. It is. Yeah, it is. Arrogant. I, what? You're not nice to some people. What, like who? Me. I don't think you've ever said that's a nice deserved, thing to me. That's <laughs> uh, so you go out of it's your like you would, you would be nice to Hitler, right? Well, it depends how if I knew him as Hitler, or if I just knew him as a dude passing on the street. Because if I did, I'd probably like sick mustache. Like that looks cool. You can imitate him. I, do you know what? The Hitler mustache is the only type of facial hair I can't grow. I don't know if you guys can see, but I actually no. can't grow mustache hair there. The You're going to scar them for life. I can't grow mustache hair there. I don't know why. Anyway, next question. Um, what food is delicious but a pain to eat? Probably rusty nails. Um, I really like curry, but I can't eat it so that, much because it makes my stomach turn over. Wow, yeah. Um, delicious but a pain to eat. So yeah, I case, don't know. Yeah, it's not really much. It's probably my, it's probably my problem. Delicious I really, really but like a pain curries, to eat. But I, but I get sick every time I eat it. Same, probably, thing, with same thing with chicken kids. Probably pussy. <laughs> Alright, next question. What's your secret talent? I don't think you're really talented at anything, so... <laughs> I'm good at a lot of things, but I'm not great at anything. Uh, <laughs> secret talent uh, would be... Um, secret talent. Secret talent. I think, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's hard to say. I never get worried about like... anything. That's my secret talent. I, I, have you ever seen me anxious or nervous or like... Wasn't there a question about... What are you worried about? Yeah, and I was, I, my answer was cricket, so that just goes to show that I fear very little. Not fear, but worry about very little. I fear a lot, but I have a unique ability to be able to procrastinate worries and just be like, fuck it, don't, don't need to worry about this right now. And then I just okay. go fishing and film an episode of this show and I mean, it's all some would, some, would that call, some would call that irresponsible. Yeah, it's not really a talent. <laughs> <laughs> <But it's, laughs> like I said, my special not, talent is talented. murdering women. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very good at it. <laughs> By the way, I really like the GoPro films this time around because I've ripped up half the questions. Anyway, your turn. Oh, for the question or for... Because I just drew that one. Yeah, so read the questions. You just drew it. That's the one I just asked. Oh, right. Memory, 100. What's the funniest thing you've seen a kid do? I actually have a good one for this. You go first. Oh, I remember there was a time when I was walking down, like walking towards home, and there was this kid who blew past me on the skateboard. And I remember thinking, like, oh man, I hope that guy stacked it. Exactly the time I thought that, he stacked it. Why, that was pretty hope, why did you hope he stacked it? He was an asshole. For riding past you on a skateboard? No, 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 because for just being like clipping me and like going real fast and hurting me. So he punched you on the way no, past? No, no, he was just big meanie. So you knew the great kid? Yeah. So this was like a bully for you? Yeah. <laughs> and if, I mean, I, mean, I hope he falls over and then immediately fell over on his skateboard. Your powers, dude. Yeah, got magic powers. So he's like a powers. <clears throat> wow. What's, right. what, what's the funniest thing you've seen? So this do? one time, way back when, uh, my best mate Jay, um, he he came over and we had this, my, one of my mum's friends came over and they had a little, they had a, a young son who also was there. And uh, Jay and I were probably... 13, 14 at the time, uh, and he was quite young. He was probably only 10 or so, and oh, he would have been younger than that, actually. I'm not great with age, but anyway. We had these cap guns, and we were playing with these cap guns, and, you know, Jay and I would pretend to shoot each other and pretend it shot actual bullets, just stupid <laughs> shit. Right, and this kid was getting into it and whatnot. 
And anyway, there came a point in the day where we were kind of done playing with the cap guns. <clears throat> and so uh, Jay was in the computer in the middle room and I was on my laptop and we were playing this um, online shooter thing um, that we used to play. Um, even though I did say I don't play games, I did play this one. And anyway, um, yeah, so this little boy, he, came, he comes to me and goes, where's the, where's the gun? I'm going to go shoot Jay. And I, like, without even really thinking about it, I was just like, oh, it's in his pants. And the kid's like, where? I'm like, I've just motioned to the dick. Oh, oh right my there. God. And so I was watching him. So I came out of my room and he was in the middle room. And Jay's like, nah, like, why are you AFK? Like, where are you? And anyway, this kid crawls under the fucking, like, desk thing. And I see his hand go up to towards Jay's dick. This and is an awful story. He doesn't, he doesn't, like, pat it to motion where the gun is. Because he still wants to play. He's angry that we're not playing with him anymore. He doesn't like motion to feel where the gun is, and he totally believes the gun is there. He just fucking grabs that fucking thing, and Jay, oh, like smashes his knees on the table. What the fuck are you doing? And yeah, man, it was fucking hilarious. Cause Jay, in Jay's mind, this little kid's just crawled under the desk and grabbed his dick for no reason. (laughs) And I was sitting back like, man, I was a part of this. That's amazing. I was so proud of myself. So that would be mine. (laughs) <laughs> that, was a good, that, was a good, that was a funny time, honestly. What's, what's about to get much better? This content. <laughs> oh, don't, I don't agree. <laughs> I don't think you can get better than this. Uh, what's about to get a lot better? Yeah, this show. This show. Uh, I would say the climate. This planet's climate. <laughs> really looking good at the moment. <laughs> what do you think? Just world well, politics is about to get much better. Yeah? Okay. I'm going to pause the camera there. My turn. Do, 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 do. This question is. Oh, music. dude, I'm not sure we should ask that. We should put that back in for now. We'll put that back in now. We'll put that. But we'll reveal that later. Okay. Uh, the next question is. What still makes you cringe when you think back on it? How, how I was in high school. Is, everything in high yeah, school. Yeah. The posts I made on Facebook during my latter primary school reading, years and early high school years. I'll, I'll still, put some I of those remember, posts here if you I want to still, see them. I still They're pretty bad. Friending you on Facebook and every post, like every week, was just some metal song lyrics. Yeah, I used to do that a lot. Uh, it was my way of kind of <laughs> really feeling makes, adequate. Really, you really know. makes you think. <laughs> really does make you think. <laughs> Alright, this is an interesting sounding one. What two things are terrible when separate but great when you put them together? What a shit question. What a shit question. It looked long, so it was cool. My dick in your ass. <laughs> Uh, two things that look that are terrible separate. <laughs> um, terrible separate but look good when put together. But great Probably when Blake and lipstick. Never put lipstick on. How would you know? I've edited photos before. Ah, Simulations. Yes, yes. What about what do you think? Come up with a funnier answer than that, buddy. Nice try. It's oh, shit yeah. content to work with. It's just too funny. Bad question. Too funny. Boo. Whoever asked that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I think a fan, someone actually did ask this. I think. Uh, do you think aliens exist? I mean, probably. There's probably not much reason to think they don't. Yeah, right? like I mean, it would suck if they don't because they're would it? nothing cool. I think it'd be cool if they didn't, because then we're like the fucking we're the be all and end all, and we're destroying the planet. So what are you gonna do? <laughs> but then you got cool aliens. Do you think that they've already come here? I don't know. Maybe. Pretty, pretty cool if they could do. Just the charisma oozing out of this guy. Just, just fucking like, I'm just, oozing. These, these aren't questions that somebody just thinks like, hmm, I wonder if aliens exist. Ooh, well, do you? Know. Like, do you think I they're I don't coming? know. Probably, probably not. <laughs> okay. So, both simultaneously probably and also probably not. Good job, Blake. This has gone swimmingly. I should have done this so long. I'm so sorry, everyone. What smells make you happy? Uh... The smell of napalm in the morning. That's a reference God, to a Sodom song, if anyone's interested in Sodom. Um, um, I like the smell of breaking bread. Breaking bad? Ba- meth. Ba- baking, you like meth? Baking bread. Baking bread, okay. That's and, pretty uh, lame. I like the smell of lemongrass. I like the smell of dragon's blood incense. That shit's pretty banging. Um, really I also... Sweet. I like the smell of chlorine. I don't know why. I don't like it. Really? I don't know, I just like the smell of chlorine. Oh, it reminds me of pools and I can't swim, so. 
Fair enough. That is probably fair enough. We're getting down, guys. There's only a few to go here. Leave a like if you've enjoyed this video, and if you haven't, leave Just a comment that says, man. Well, man, I wish Blake wasn't in this video, which would be the truth. What's a common experience for many people that you've never experienced? Sexual intercourse. What's a common experience that many people have experienced yeah. that I haven't experienced? Sexual intercourse for mine. Never, never done the dirty. I mean, and having a job. <laughs> This is really making you look good. This, this video sure. I mean, should be you, your resume. If you didn't, do, when you go for a job, you just show them this video. If you didn't think I was the best, be like, I'm the fat one. Which one? The fat one. The fat one. <laughs> They're both fat. The one think... with the shitty glasses and the hoodie on. Oh. What's your grossest bug story? <laughs> What's that? Your grossest bug story. What the fuck? Who has a who has a grossest bug story? What about the giant bug that we saw in all? Well, I guess we do have freaking, a gross bug story. It was story. a massive freaking bug. Yeah, dinosaur. that thing was we tried to burn dinosaur it alive and it didn't bug. die. It was like this big. Grossest Maybe that bug big. story. Yeah, it was like that big. Um no, it was like a giant oh, beetle. Actually I do have one. I had a tick on my dick. That was fucked. That hurt like a motherfucker. That shit was not cool. That was, that was did trash. You just, did you get it with like tweezers? No, nah, I just ripped it off because I was camping. Did you take your dick up with it then? Mm. <laughs> no, there wasn't. The, the tick size. was larger no, about than the my same penis. Size. <laughs> so, <laughs> I think the tick was willing to come off. It was Your like, turn. there's not enough meat here anyway. All right. Uh, what kind of shark are you? <laughs> what kind of shark are you? What kind of shark am I? Yeah. Great white. I don't think so, Cud. You'd be a whale shark. No, Harmless and great, huge and... Great whitey. No, you're not. I'd, I reckon I'd be a... Uh... You'd be a big dumb shark, because you're big dumb. Funny. I'd be probably um, probably one of those ones that lives in the cold, because I really like the cold. Greenland sharks. And they're, they're pretty, they're pretty metal-looking sharks. They look pretty metal, just like me. So, probably a Greenland shark. Alright. What's your favourite fish? This actually is a question that I think Renee asked. My favourite fish is um, bluefish from the popular Dr. Seuss uh, novel One Fish, Two Fish, Red Fish, Bluefish. Like golden perch. Once we catch it. They are pretty cool but they got nothing on bluefish. I probably it would probably actually be um, favourite fish? Jeez, that's a hard one. I actually don't know. Favourite fish. Uh, probably tandon. I really like tandon. Yep. Your turn. Just oh, ask the question. You just draw them yeah, and then just pre wait to preempt the answers because you're too fucking stupid to do it any other way. Should we ask that yet? Or no, save yeah, that? Save gonna, that one. All right, save that one. You're yeah, really gonna like that question when it comes in. <laughs> what awful movie do you love? Uh, Deadly Detention is a horrible film that I enjoyed. It's so funny, yeah. Um, knock Knock because of the pure comedy <laughs> yeah, that comes out knock, of that knock. film. Uh, uh, Birdemic. P definitely the peak of Keanu Reeves' career. Yeah, I would say. Matrix, uh, John Wick, Knock Knock. Knock Knock. Yeah. It's above any other film. Right? Birdemic is excellent. If you want to have a laugh, watch Birdemic. I'm pretty sure the whole thing's on YouTube. Neil Brain would be in there. Um, there's a ton of bad films that are good to watch. Is it Birdemic that has like the song like halfway through? Birdemic! Oh wait, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. How does that like, song go again? Yeah, um, it's like the first hour of the movie is them just living a normal life and then the birds come. Oh, yeah, I can't remember. And like, at least yeah, yeah. like 40 minutes in, there's just this random song about like loving your family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, horrible film, but you should definitely check it out. If you want to watch a bad film when you're drinking with the boys, that's, that's one to watch. What nicknames do you have? Uh, I used to get called faggot a lot in high school. Um, what about in primary school? Uh, still faggot. Still faggot. Is there any other, any other school? Um, like called? My mum calls me faggot sometimes. Um, sure your name's not faggot. At work, my name badge just is printed out. It just says faggot. Um, sometimes when I'm just driving around, people yell out the window at me, faggot. Um... Sometimes I look in the mirror and I just think, man, what a faggot. Ah, uh, way to bring the mood down. No, I actually don't really have any nickname. Sharky, which, uh, which was so I was called Sharky very briefly in high school by very few people. In high school, a lot of them called me Frodo because this one dude, Mr. Bell, 
got me up in front of the class in like grade 8 and put up a picture of Frodo and was like, this guy looks like Frodo. I don't even look anything fucking like Frodo. Not even remotely like fucking Frodo. But then everyone started calling me Frodo and I didn't hate it because I liked the attention. But it was just like, <clears throat> it doesn't even make sense. I don't even look like Frodo. You've got a few good nicknames. Potato, because you look like a fucking potato. Gay Brock Lesnar, because he looks like what Brock Lesnar would look like if Brock's liked the dick. Um, Stop making fun of me. Boa Const, because his last name is Richter, so we used to call him Boa Const Richter. Stop like the doxing. Snake. Stop doxing. Um, what else did we have for you? Gee, I don't know. Blank. We used to call him Blank instead of Blake. Also Very black. inventive. Also Blank. Very black. inventive. Yeah, because well. he is part Aboriginal. I remember in high school... Some also, I also remember you saying, see a blackie <laughs> to me in the car park. What, blackie? Yeah, to me. Or see a black. Right. Screaming, just see a black. Well, it was a nickname. Because <laughs> you were black, partially. Yeah, very cool. Anyway. All right, next question. Is it your turn or my turn? Um, I don't know. I'm picking one. So, yeah, the... one. <laughs> 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 this has gone for 30 minutes nearly. <laughs> <What are> you... <laughs> so... 30 minutes too long. <laughs> What do you hate most and love most about your car? <laughs> I hate that there could be a brown snake in it. <laughs> Which is a fact, there could be a brown snake in my car potentially. Um, one got out one day. Uh, I love I'd, that. I'd, I'd imagine it's the corpse by now, though, at least. Yeah, if it's still but in the prob- there. Like, it, it's very telling that even if there was a snake corpse in there, you wouldn't be able to tell. <laughs> I don't really love anything about my car. I love that it still works after all I put it through. That that would be my answer. Uh, I hate that the radio in my car doesn't even work. And I love that it smells alright. It doesn't smell like an abortion. Like in, your car. In, in context of how it could smell, yeah. I guess. That's fair enough. Alright. Uh, what's fine in small numbers but terrifying in large numbers? Uh, is This sounds like a riddle. This doesn't sound like an ask me anything question. Mm. It really makes you think. Fine in small numbers. Huh? Probably uh, ants. No, they're not fine in small numbers. Who wants ants? Probably, um... Well, what even is an answer to this question? Help me out here. Water. Fine in small numbers. Jeez. Small numbers of water. <laughs> you would turn on the tap and just get some small numbers of water. Yeah, and then you get too much water and you're drowning. Yeah. That's pretty scary. Probably Fortnite dancers. They're fine in small numbers. I can get anyone. I can do a floss. I can default dance on, on, on you, but if I see a bunch of kids doing it, not okay. I don't... Yeah, it's a shit question. Biggest biggest shark you've caught up the river. That was an actual question that was yeah, answered. Yeah. That was asked. Uh, 1.4 metres a uh, little while back. I've only ever caught one shark, so there we can get like, the one shark that I've caught. Yeah, so what, how big was river? it? About 90 centimetres probably. All right, I'm going to pause it there and... Okay, my turn. Let's see. We've got three questions, four questions left. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, biggest fear? Uh, bluefish from the popular Dr. Seuss novel One Fish, Two Fish, Red Fish, Blue Fish would be my biggest fear. In a similar fear. vein, my biggest fear is drowning. Really? Just being in water. Wow. Yeah, I don't like, I don't like just swimming. I don't That's, like drowning. Wow. Also, no, well, also, there's a common theme in my nightmares where I just lose an eye or eyes. That's probably a pretty, pretty big fear as well. That way we're in my eye protectors. Yeah, <laughs> in case I try and get one of those a bit, eyes. A bit more subconscious than the drowning one, but... Yeah. Indeed. Um, Aside from the bluefish, is there any other big fear? No, you know? really just bluefish. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Uh, I would probably be my biggest fear would probably... Oh, yeah, Renee asked this one too. should throw that out there. Uh, it would be... Uh, biggest fear... Probably, You know, this is going to sound really odd... And probably unbelievable, but venomous snakes are a huge fear of mine. I know that doesn't Even make much sense given that I snake am catcher. And a snake catcher and a venomous snake uh, handler frequently. But um, yeah, I, I think it's good to have a healthy fear of them. Other than that, I, I hate monkeys. I have a huge fear of monkeys. Now, I know what you're thinking. If you hate monkeys so much, how do you get away with hanging out with Blake? I don't know. Oh, I don't man. know. I think it's because he's a step down from monkey. I think it's Blake, monkey, humans, me. Um, so, but I actually do have a giant fear of monkeys. I also have a big fear of crocodiles. Um, that's pretty so much both, it. Both of those things you don't encounter much at all. No, 
thankfully. <laughs> Although I do see you once every few weeks, or once a week, really. It's quite scary. All right, next question. Sometimes what's the, the, way you what's the funniest TV <laughs> show you've ever seen? Funniest TV show I've ever seen, Rick and Morty. Have you watched Rick and Morty? No, I've never watched an episode of Rick and Morty. Uh, I really like Rules of Engagement. You're not smart enough. That's I funny. thought Rules of Engagement was very funny. I was in a relationship at the time too, so it uh, made me um, made me kind of enjoy the content a little more because it was more relatable. I also really like that 70s show. I don't really like that 70s show. Yeah. What's the... What's the Funniest TV show I've ever yeah. seen? I mean, I liked Seinfeld. Seinfeld. I liked Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Boo. Boo. I liked The Ooh, Office. Archer. Oh yeah, The Office and has Archer, to be in there. Archer is great. Right. Archer is great. Uh, I, honestly, I really like Friends. I thought Friends was really funny. I've watched every episode of Friends. I I used to love Friends when I was younger. I've and... watched every episode of Seinfeld. But... Really? Yeah. I've never I'm watched gonna, it. I'm going to complete series. Yeah, all right. Well, there you go. I've never really gotten into Seinfeld, mainly because of all the Jewish people. It's just not a fan. That's all right, one next of my question. biggest fears. <laughs> next question. <laughs> Two questions here, left. Here. All right, wrong one, I think. Yeah, that one. Okay, <laughs> you're asking the next question. <laughs> What's your favourite animal? Uh, for me, it would be bluefish from the popular Dr. Seuss uh, poem, One Fish, Two so, Fish. So you fish both fish. fear and love the bluefish. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my favourite animal is probably peregrine falcon. Yes, they're pretty cool. You know what's funny? That's a sick animal. I used to was, have one that lived at my old house. That was actually. the um, that was the animal I did my like report on in like grade three, and because it was meant to be a report on like native animals to Australia, and I'm mm. pretty sure peregrine falcons are native to Australia. Yeah, they are. Are they? Mm-hmm. There you go. Serendipity. Mm, pretty sure they are. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know how you said before. That the bluefish was both my favourite animal and my biggest fear. <laughs> the actual answer is both my favourite animal and my biggest fear. It's my favourite animal is snakes. Okay. Um, <laughs> they're also my biggest fear. Right, so. Now for the final question. The final question. The great Everyone get ready. A question that was asked very importantly. I remember the name of the person that asked it. Condor. Thank you for asking. It was a question that needed to be asked. What's the question, Blake? Blake, what did you do in 2011? 